All right, so it's time. Uh, we are gonna do the uh, building a digital business from scratch and it's gonna take between 30 to 48 days. We are gonna develop some products based on insights and research. I do have a domain. I'm gonna tell you what that domain is tomorrow because uh, that's how this idea was born really. Uh, on this channel for the next 30 to 48 days, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have daily things like this. Uh, that are sort of stories and where I tell the story of how the project is pro progressing and then I'm gonna cut out all the, the tutorials as well uh, so that you can follow step by step on what I am actually doing so I planned just about the next 30 days worth of content it might take longer than that and that's why I've added the 48 days so yeah let's go through the project and see what we're gonna go through for the next whatever days that we have in front of us Now this project will be split into five different parts. We have the story, we have the how-tos, we have the resource spreadsheet, and we have the blog posts and the extra categories and themes. The stories, they are going to be public and uh, they're gonna be shared publicly. The how-tos are gonna be non-listed, but we're gonna be able to reach them through the blog posts and through the spreadsheet and other places uh, like that. Stories are gonna be shared through emails. How-tos are gonna be topic-based, keyword-based and solution-based. They're gonna be screen recordings and we're gonna play them at 1.2 to 1.5 times the speed because people can always pause, but people are restless. So blog posts are going to be shared on the blog uh, and through the emails and uh, the resource sheet is going to be public but I need you guys to help me spread the word about that. Extra category pages are going to rank in Google and they're going to be available on the website. Uh, but more importantly I've created this uh, drive on Google Drive and it includes the learning kits and in learning kits we have all of the different uh, uh, PDFs and PowerPoints and keynotes and uh, written documents and things like that that I'm gonna be writing along the way I'm just gonna be dropping them in here so that you can copy them or you can use them as a structure for whatever you're doing uh, if you want to do that uh, the good thing in that is that I'm gonna be uh, finding them in this one uh, large spreadsheet uh, where I put all the sections of this project in there so I'm gonna be documenting everything that I do in every step from the research market insights uh, my ability we will get into what that is uh, and uh, so every section that we have to go through in order to build this digital business I'm gonna document it within this uh, sp spreadsheet and you can find it in the description description of this video anyone who's been laid off and it needs to start a new business. Uh, marketing directors, marketing managers, people who are in decision uh, positions so that they understand what goes into actually launching a digital product or turning a physical product into a digital product. And then um, people with a general interest in digital marketing because a lot of it is gonna be about marketing, media, and how to use the two in order to actually drive some kind of growth. And I need your help commenting, telling me when I do a poor job, and I need you to help me bring all those people in here i'm still gonna do it though <laughs> so uh we'll see i'm gonna trust you on that one uh, what else do we have here we have the learning kits yes and those are gonna be like all the stuff and then we have the vlogging kits and the vlogging kits are essentially all of the stuff that i use for for my uh, videos i use final cut pro and Final Cut Pro is, is really good if you have a Mac, if you're a uh, Mac user. So if you have that, you can follow along. Otherwise, I mean, there are other tools out there. Adobe has a full suite of different kind of editing software. And I would say that uh, they're pretty simil similar. Then we have the project files. And the project files are a series of different, like this is where I dump. If I have, um, if I have something that I create that is a part of, let's say, the insights, uh, and I do some coding or I do some spreadsheet or I do some whatever I create whatever I build I'm gonna drop it into the correct project uh, project file 
so that you will be able to find whatever it is related to that specific section of the course uh, course or project or story or whatever you want to call it I'm gonna drop it into that one I'm gonna link everything you don't have to pay attention really to the structure that I've had on on this but I'm gonna link everything uh, from the project file uh, so that is pretty much how this is going to go. This is how I'm going to structure it here. So first things first. Uh, we all have seen these videos. We've seen the inspirational talks that, you know, what is success and where does it come from? I have my strong idea. But when I look online, I find that team is everything. You know, you hear all these people, famous people saying that you can't do anything without a team. The success comes from a team. Da -da -da. The only problem with that is that I'm alone. So how do I actually build something when I'm alone? If the team is the recipe for success. So I'm gonna have to scrap that idea. The second thing. In these times of fear, don't let people take control of your mind, my friends. I mean, every day you gotta stand guard at the door of your mind. Is that you can do anything you set your mind to. Now, the problem with my mind is that my mind is all over the place. So if I set my mind to doing something, what happens then is that I will not get anything done because I will be all over the place, right? That can't be the recipe for my success. The third thing is do what you love. If you don't love sales, if you don't love it, you have no chance. Do what you love. I don't know how many times I've heard that thing. Do what you love. I don't agree with that. I think you should do what you're skilled at doing and that you're able to do. And that could, you know, generate enough money for you to actually spend some time not working. I know some people don't agree with me, but I cannot go for that. Okay, I do really like doing the stuff that we're gonna be doing here in this course, but seriously, I cannot go on in my head about loving stuff. Because the only thing that I love is essentially, yeah, like, I, li I love yoga, but I can't make money for yoga, so I'm not gonna do that. That's truly love. I can like, I can not dislike, and I, yeah, I can be rewarded by, but no, I have to scrap the whole love thing. Do what you love, get out the window as well. <laughs> And then the thing with uh, the Arnold way of don't have a plan B. I hate plan B. I cannot, I cannot stand that idea not to have a plan B. I have a plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I think about all the possible takes and turns that a project can take. And I plan for everything, right? So what I want to do is I want to have an idea something that I want to create. I want to have an insight that I think will make this valuable to others. And then I want to do that. And that's how I believe that you be successful. Like you don't give up on your idea. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future. Day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years. Dr. Dweck has shown that when kids read and learn about the brain and how it changes and grows in response to challenge, they're much more likely to persevere when they fail because they don't believe that failure is a permanent condition. And that's the most important thing like in this project and what we are going to be doing here is we're not going to give up and more importantly, we're just going to work until it works, right? So the most important thing that I'm going to use or like the approach that I'm going to use in this project is grit. So that's what I'm going to use. Like all the other things, all the roads to success, all those four or five things that I just counted. I cannot use those. If you want to apply those, go right ahead. But in this course, we're going to be applying grit in order to actually get something done. We're going to decide on what to do. We're going to make sure that we have products to support it that people want. And then we're just going to, you know, get in there and koble upp armarna, as you say in Swedish. You're gonna have to translate that for your own. We're gonna run this as a part spiritual and part practical uh, work. We are gonna wake up at 5.30 every morning and uh, we're gonna work on our ourselves between 5.30 and 7.30 and between 7.30 and 9 p.m. at night. So we're gonna have about three and a half hours working on ourselves. That's gonna include meditation, physical exercise, thinking, yoga, and another set of meditation. And the Kriya that we're gonna use is a spe specified one that I am gonna share with you in a link in one of the learning kits so that you will be able to follow along 
if you want to do that. I think it is a very nice yoga uh, kriya and it's about 12 to 18 minutes uh, in the morning and 12 to 18 minutes in the afternoon and it does miracles to you. Now the whole thing is 48 days and we're gonna see how long this continues. My work part of the day is structured around emails. Uh, in between 7.30 and 8.15, then 8.30 to 10, I'm gonna record screen grabs, and I'm gonna do video editing, and then I'm gonna publish um, plus uh, a little bit of work time, and then I'm gonna have a lunch rest and walk to the office, and then I'm gonna do some more work time, and then I'm gonna plan tomorrow's tutorials, and then I'm gonna record the intros at the end of every day, and so uh, that's how I'm gonna make sure that I plan for, you know, keeping up with these uh, daily, um, daily vlogs. All right, so that was all for today. And I hope that you're gonna enjoy this project. I sure uh, will. And um, I know this might be uh, the most boring of all of the episodes, but I think I need to, like, or at least theory says that I need to give an overview of the project that's ahead of us. Uh, and so that's what I do. That's what I am going to do in this project. I'm going to try to follow, like, both my experience and the stuff that people say is the best thing to do. And so, yeah. Hope you have a good day and don't forget to hit the little thumbs up button if, you, if you're interested in this and to do the subscription thingies and the sharing thingies and all of those other thingies because if you do, um, people will like you. Mm -hmm.